Dr. Paul Chibre was the founder of the French Society of Ophthalmology in the 19th century, but also a precursor of humanitarian action on the African continent. By launching Fondation Thea in 2012, his descendants continue his commitment to the fight against blindness and the improvement of eye health in disadvantaged countries. This institution is fortunate to be able to link its action to 150 years of history, but also to the industrial undertaking of Thea Laboratories, one of the largest European groups in the field of ophthalmology. The foundation benefits from Thea's global reach. It has a board of directors chaired by Professor Serge Resnikov, member of the executive board of the International Agency for Combating Blindness and the International Coalition Against Trachoma. A general delegate, Didier Renault, who works to monitor projects on a daily basis. A scientific committee composed of the best international experts ensures the richness and relevance of its deliberations. These professionals help the Foundation select projects regarding their impact in terms of the fight against blindness and ensure compliance with both priorities. First, elimination of trachoma, which is still the leading cause of infectious blindness. Second, training and education of ophthalmologists and other eye care professionals, specifically in Francophone and Lusophone Africa, because these countries are particularly underserved. In these two areas, the impact of the Foundation's actions in Africa has continued to grow, involving a good 30 countries today. On the trachoma front, since the success achieved in northern Cameroon by the new antibiotic short treatment eye drops developed by Thea Laboratories, the Foundation has taken over and extended its intervention, in particular in Mali, Mozambique, Algeria, Chad or the Central African Republic, with the tremendous hope that this new treatment brings for infants. Each time it has paid particular attention to isolated communities, which more than any other require an effort in terms of prevention, access to treatment, even tracheitis surgeries. Training is the other essential component, because in many African countries, the most recurrent challenge is access to a doctor. To meet the urgent need for medical staff, Fondation Thea finances individual training, such as certain scholarships of the International Ophthalmological Fellowship Foundation, reserved for young French-speaking doctors, or certain internships within the training hubs of African countries, in order to promote cooperation on this continent and the emergence of a superior institute for education in ophthalmology. At the same time, the Foundation invests heavily in new technologies. It provides teachers and residents of 25 African countries with eOfta, an online training course designed by the University College of Ophthalmologists of France. Of course, it ensures broadband for campuses interested in this tool. Opting for innovative solutions also means inviting ophthalmologists every year to come and perfect their skills on surgical simulators, for example in Casablanca, Morocco, or at the University Hospital in Clermont-Ferrand. Above all, the Foundation wishes to equip African centres of excellence in the field of training with wet or dry labs, the latter being composed of silicon eyes which allow future surgeons to acquire the right gestures. Rather than specific interventions or responses, Fondation Thea prefers structuring commitments and solutions for the future that accompany communities in the long run in the face of fundamental concerns. This is the case with the fight against trachoma and the challenge of health human resources. Paul Chibré dedicated his life to the fight against blindness. 150 years later, Fondation Thea continues this fight. <laughs>